range anxiety is definitely a factor with this car. Uh, it tells me I've got 36 miles and it's 30 miles home. Cold. I can't turn on my heater. When we left Dirtfish, uh, my miles left on this charge were about 24. Unfortunately, it's 30 miles home, so I turned off the heater and it jumped up to a range of 38. So I believe I should have enough gas to get home now at this point. Well, gas, charge, you know what I'm talking about. Chili. Killed the heater. It is cold outside. We are just below snow level. So at least we have rain and not snow and ice. Ah, 45 miles an hour. I'm out of the eco zone. About 15 miles before we get back to the uh, office. How are you feeling right now? Any anxiety? Uh, if we got 15 miles to go, I should be okay. I've got 31 miles in my range. I've got just about every electronic amenity possible turned off. It's dark, so I had to turn the lights on um, and the rear defroster. But uh, other than that, it's really cold in here. You know, I don't think we would do that with a regular car. I think you need to turn the heat on. All right, turning the heat back on. Hang on. All right, I got the heat on, and uh, my range just dropped from 31 miles to 23 miles. Anything else that you would normally have on in a regular car? Uh, yeah, um, maybe the seat warmers? I'm not sure where they are in this thing, though. Your right knee, your gas pedal knee. But that may be just a bit excessive. I'm not sure I'm willing to take the risk for a warm tushy at this point. Yeah, I think that's a compromise you'll have to just accept and, and not turn on the heat the seat warmers. Copy that. No seat warmers it is. All right, I am now in extreme braking mode. Hopefully you'll get your mileage way up. Well, since I've turned the heater on uh, and I switched over to B mode, I have uh, 17 miles left in my charge. And there's a big hill between here and the office. So uh, how are you feeling, like, intimidation-wise? Do you feel like you're just a driving around in a tin can? Um, or, or do you feel perfectly comfortable safety-wise? With most of the cars that are out on the road, I feel perfectly safe. But uh, I have been very intimidated by a few large trucks that have been out on the road. I'm not talking semis. I'm just talking full-size pickups. I do feel very small, and I feel like I'm not surrounded by very much steel. Uh, just uh, kind of slow down at that light. Did you feel more grab from the regen system? I really didn't notice it too much, quite honestly. I wonder how long it's going to take for the uh, battery-powered car to really catch on. I mean, now the hybrid is pretty much a staple of transportation, and the Prius, really the first successful hybrid that was out there, um, that came out in the mass market in 2001, so it's uh, 10 years old, up, oh, breaking a lot. I probably should have gone through that light. Oh, yep, I definitely should have gone through that light, apparently. Now this is starting going uphill in eco mode. Yeah, it uh, doesn't really like to go uphill in eco mode.
I've got a range of 14 miles left. You feeling nervous now? Um, just because I know there is one big hill remaining. Yeah, the upcoming stop and go might actually be advantageous. If memory serves, uh, we've got about seven miles left to the office, and I've got a range of 13 miles with a hill. I'm feeling pretty confident about this one. Hey, there's a freeway. You can just get on the... Oh, no, you can't, because you don't have the range. I don't get to play on the freeway. I just routed it for you. You have 5.3 miles to go. Woohoo! I'm thinking it was a good idea not to take that uh, three mile detour for uh, dinner. Yeah, that would have stranded us. That would have been three miles out, three miles back. Uh, we've got five miles to go right now, and I've got a range of 13 miles if everything goes according to plan. And so long as you don't turn your seat warmer on. Correct. Right, okay, so we started in Dirtfish today, just 30 miles from the office, and then we went, drove probably about five miles around the area before coming straight here. So that's a total of like 35 miles, and you're already on fumes. And it's not like you've been gunning it. No, I don't feel like I have been putting this car through its paces at all. Uh, we didn't do the little slalom course that we wanted to do today. We didn't do any of the speed tests. We got in a, a, a zero to 60 trial, but I mean, that knocked one mile off of the range. Um, all in all, I doubt that I've driven it over 30 some odd miles, and it's telling me I've got 13 left. Hey, you know, you just, you wouldn't get Doing an electric car, you just don't want the story to be about the mileage. You want it to be about the car. But the fact is, the story is about the mileage. The fear of the mileage really gets in the way of a proper review of what the car is and what the car can do. Well, on the upside, uh, we can try driving it again in 22 hours after the batteries are charged. Hooray! We'll be able to drive it at... Uh, Let's see, it is 4.30 right now. So around two o'clock tomorrow, the car will be ready. I'm weeping right now. Yeah, um, well, I mean, if you had a quick charger, not the super heavy duty charger, but the quick charger at home um, or at the office, we could have it ready again in eight hours. So you drive it, you sleep, and then you get to drive it again. That's semi-practical. Really underscores the necessity of having a quick charger. Oh yeah, um, I don't think that you could justify owning this car without having a quick charger. The robot's entirely made of carbon fiber and fiber optics. Tofu. It's all made of tofu. Ball bearings. Everything's ball bearings these days. Okay, we've made it up the hill. What's your mileage at? We've made it up the hill. I've got eight miles to go. So traveling what was probably three miles from the bottom of the hill until we were all the way at the very crest, uh, that actually cost me five miles. Okay, so let's uh, risk it and you're gonna do the on-ramp to the freeway just so we can at least get five miles of freeway on this thing to see what it feels like. Not to five miles, but like one mile. Copy that. Gradual, maybe do it in eco mode. I have not shuffled out of eco mode for um, the last 30 miles. Okay, the last 15 miles. Long hill up to the top of the freeway. I was at nine miles when I got onto the on-ramp. Now I've got a range of eight miles. Pedal is on the floor. 50 miles an hour.
had to slow down for merging traffic, but that helped charge me back up again. Still didn't get up to true proper freeway speeds. Um, that was maybe a mile and I am now down to a range of six miles. Uh, freeway really ticks it off there. Oh, but in braking again to get off of the freeway and come to a complete stop, I have a range of seven miles. It's all about stop and go. Well, it looks like I'm in the clear. I got uh, six miles of range left. Most of the trip is downhill. And it's only about two miles to the office where I will be trading this for my gas-powered car that I don't have to worry about how far I can go in it. I actually have gained miles. Well, I, uh, I had lost and now I am back up to exactly the same mileage as when I got off of the freeway a mile and a half ago. I've got seven miles remaining pulling into the office. Well, that was interesting. Now, after 22 hours, it'll be ready to drive again. <laughs>